right, everybody. Final thoughts for hull breach corporate wars, which like I said earlier is one of several different hull breach sets. A new one is coming out this year. There's one that came out previous to this. So final thoughts time. Alrighty, as promised right up front, let me explain why the heck I'm reviewing this because if you watch my videos, you know Jen and I normally wouldn't touch a game like this with a 10-foot pole. And that's not a slight on the game at all. Actually, to cut to the chase, this is actually a really good game, surprisingly good. Um, you know, really brought back a lot of fond memories of back when Jen and I used to play Magic the Gathering a lot. And in a lot of ways improves on the... Well, I'll talk about that in a minute. First of all, I was contacted by the uh, publishers of Hall Breach, and you know they said, "Hey, we really love your show. Would you mind doing a uh, a, a run through for it?" Uh, our our lead designer, the game creator, he's a really big fan, and so I looked at it and said, "Well, you know, it looks really good, and I'd heard nothing but good things about it. it seems like it, you know, it had a really strong following." And but I said, "You know, it's really it's not the kind of game Jen and I play. Thanks very much." And uh, as I often do, I probably turn I turned down a lot of opportunities to review games that have a lot of heavy conflict, and I just always turn them down. And they replied, yeah, okay, we understand. Did we mention the game creator is a, uh, is a U.S. Army sergeant serving in Afghanistan, and he's a huge fan, and he watches all your videos religiously from over there? I'm like, ah, okay. Alrighty, well then, yes, I will be more than happy to take a look at it. I feel like it's the least I could do. Um, Dan Oxier, I assume that's how you pronounce your name, or Sergeant, Sergeant Dan, Thank you so much for your service. This whole video is for you. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't um, screw up your game too much. Uh, you know, because Jen and I, we have a basic understanding of it. Hopefully it was well enough to get an idea of what it feels like to play like. And um, actually... I just want to say thank you too. Okay. Wow, I didn't expect that. That was a bit of a surprise. Anyway, getting a little verklempt here about this. Uh, okay, this is calm down. Anyway, um, it's heartfelt. So. Hull Breach as a game. Well, like I said, it really does. I mean, it, it very much feels like, um, well, you know, I have a fixed income, so I'm not putting down trees and swamps and whatnot to slowly collect mana and drawing one card a turn. Because if anything, that's what I like about this game so much more than the classic CCGs of yesteryear, because it's fast. It, um, you know, it isn't, oh, just draw one card every turn. We played net, I, I took actually a lot of flack uh, last year, maybe the year before, I did a run through for Netrunner and said it's kind of old fashioned, this whole draw one card every turn, uh -uh, not having it. It's kind of sick and tired of that. Um, this game, no, you just fill your hand back up like a, like a proper modern deck builder. The game goes quick, you're constantly getting new stuff. There's constantly new stuff going. There's not, there's never a, right, let me wait four, five turns until I finally get the card I need to do what I want, which is so endemic of anything that was ever in inspired by the design of magic. This throws that out the window and it's very fast, it's very aggressive, it's very intense. It's very warlike and I really, really appreciate that. I think it's a huge, huge improvement. I mean, I wish Netrunner did this. I wish, um, you know, I wish Magic the Gathering did this, but still, that's really, really cool. And then the game itself, there is a lot going on. This is a really surprisingly complex game. Now, the game itself plays really smooth and the rule book is great. You know, I've been um, struggling for feels like weeks now trying to you know parse through the myth rule book, which is why sorry folks, it's taking me so long to get a run through for that done, even though I've had it for a, a, quite a while now. But this rule book is a breath of fresh air. Everything, if anything, it was maybe a little bit too verbose because it repeats itself a lot. Much like me, I'm also very bad at that. But really nice and clear. The, you know, the the flow works beautifully. Um, it, 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 it's 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 rigid and structured enough that you can make important tactical decisions knowing what's going to be coming up and still have that little, um, you know, that bit of doubt, that bit of uncertainty, that bit of push your luck. Like you saw Jen, you know, she pushed her luck once, she didn't lose her raptor, she could have pushed her luck again and maybe take another one of my modules, but she pulled back because of course ultimately the dice are going to de or decide your fate and sometimes they're nice and sometimes they're not nice dice. So, uh, you know, the, the, the play is really smooth. There's a lot of interesting stuff. The, um, you know, the, the, I've only tried, uh, well, actually, this was the first time that I had actually seen this bank deck, because Jen and I had played with the other two decks. And, you know, there, there, there's some variation. You know, I mean, the, the special powers they get, I mean, this bank deck, I didn't, unfortunately, didn't get to really take advantage of its ability, which is it's really good at putting events out, and Jen didn't draw any events. So, but I can imagine that makes this feel a little bit uh, different than, you know, the shipyard, which can just build ships fast and furious. So, it seems like the decks have a fair bit of variety, and, of course, there is a fair bit of deck building you can do if you want. There's some faction rules about mixing and matching certain types of cards, only a certain number of cards can go in a deck and all that stuff. So I mean, all the stuff feels really, really good. And if Jen and I liked this kind of game, if we liked pounding each other and destroying what each other has built all the time, this would be a definite keeper because it just works really, really well. 
but it's not our kind of game. So all I can do is sit back and respect the fact that it is a very good, solid game system that I think anybody who is interested in this subject matter of intergalactic warfare and, and pummeling each other um, over and over repeatedly would really want to seek this out. Oh, another thing it's actually, I should say, it's actually a fairly quick game. Uh, the games Jen and I played, they were over pretty much in like 15, 20 minutes. Not necessarily because somebody got completely routed, but, um, you know, but there can still be that notion that, wow, you know, like this opening round, I took a beating, and Jen pretty much got off scot-free. She didn't really lose hardly anything. But I would definitely say it wasn't over for me. I could still recover. I could still turn it around. I mean, we always felt like there was an opportunity, and by the time it got to the point where, okay, there's no opportunity to turn around now, the game was over. You know, so it didn't dwell. It didn't just stick around forever while it took forever for the person who has pulled into the lead to get that coup de gras. You know, it just, uh, it, it's, it's wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And that is very much appreciated. Again, because that would be another problem I have with more of the old classic CCGs because of the slow drip feed of cards, which this game just completely throws away. And, oh, and I love the fact, you know, you can speed up. I don't like any of these cards I have. I'm dumping them all. I want a whole new hand next turn. You can burn through your deck much quicker if you want, but that's dangerous dangerous because this is a finite deck. There is no reshuffling this deck. I think that's brilliant. I think that's a huge improvement to Richard Garfield's original Magic the Gathering formula. I, like I said, I just, I'm really impressed with it overall. And that's not just because I clearly have hero worship over um, Sergeant Dan uh, Oxier of the United States Army serving in Afghanistan. Just standing on its own merits, I think Hall Breach Corporate War is a very, very cool intergalactic warfare tactic card game. Doesn't take up much space, could play it anywhere, plays fast, nice game. If this is the kind of thing you're looking for, you might want to check it out. Okay, folks, that's it. Thanks for watching. Sorry if I made any mistakes. I'm still relatively new to the game. We haven't played it that much. But hopefully, as always, I have successfully captured the feel of the game. So you can decide whether it would be a game that you would enjoy the feel of. Please read the rules, because I'm sure I made a few mistakes. And otherwise, have a very nice day. Have a great day, Sergeant Dan, wherever you are out there. Uh, talk to you all later. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.